Visiting Israel can be a very expensive trip for most people, especially because Israel is considered one of the most expensive countries in the world, with Jerusalem being among the 20 top expensive cities in the world. So allow me to give you 10 things that you can do in Jerusalem for absolutely free so you can use the extra money to buy yummy Israeli food. The Old City. Jerusalem's ancient and historic walls are the perfect place to explore. Much of the city has been preserved for centuries and is a great way to learn about different cultures, religions, and peoples who have lived in this sacred city over time. So take a stroll through each of the quarters of the old city of Jerusalem, the Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Armenian. The Temple Mount. You've probably seen the Temple Mount with negative connotations, but still, it's an amazing place to visit, the holiest site in Judaism, where the two temples stood and where the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque stand today. You can go up there for free. Just arrive at the Mugrabi Gate near the Western Wall, which you can also visit for free. Yad Vashem Museum. Yad Vashem is Israel's official memorial to the victims of the Holocaust. It is dedicated to preserving the memory of the Jews who were murdered, honoring Jews who fought against their Nazi oppressors, and the non-Jews who helped save Jews and risk their lives. It's free. Just keep in mind that you need to reserve your entrance in advance on their website. The Garden Tomb. Located just outside the city walls of Jerusalem, you will find the Garden Tomb, a possible location for the crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And yes, it's free. The Knesset, Israel's parliament. This is where Israel's 120 lawmakers practice Israel's democracy in its glory. Every Israeli gets excited to visit there, so I'm sure you will get excited as well. And you can also get a free tour guide there at the Knesset. Church of the Holy Sepulcher. The Church of the Holy Sepulcher is a major pilgrimage site in Christianity and one of the oldest churches in the world. Entrance is free. Mount of Olives. If you want to have an amazing view of the old city of Jerusalem, and take incredible pictures of this amazing city, then you need to go up on Mount Olives, where I'm standing right now. It is a place not just filled with amazing churches and history, but an amazing observation. Just come here and enjoy the free view. After you visited Mount of Olives, you need to go down and visit one of the most incredible ancient gardens in the world, the Garden of Gatsman. It is best known as the place where Jesus and his disciples spent their last night before his crucifixion. There, you can find olive trees that are 2,000 years old and more. You can possibly look at the same olive trees that Jesus looked at, touched, and pray near them. Um, it's right there in Israel, in Jerusalem. Machne Yehuda Market. If you really want to feel the Israeli vibe and see how crazy my people are, hopefully in a good way, then you need to visit the iconic Machne Yehuda market, where during the day you can get relatively cheap quality fresh food, and during the night it turns into a place filled with bars and nightlife. And I saved the best for last because it's my favorite spot in Jerusalem, the Tayele Taas Promenade. The promenade offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city's iconic landmarks, such as the Dome of the Rock, the Tower of David, and various other historical sites. And while you're there, perhaps you want to take a look at the near UN base and ask them why they keep saying that Jerusalem is under Jewish occupation. Because clearly, history shows and proves otherwise. <laughs> Sorry for getting political there. You know me, I just, I just had to. So I hope my video will provide you with some good ideas and places you can visit without spending too much money. Enjoy your time in my capital city, Jerusalem, and be sure to save the video and send it to your friends and family so that they will be able to save money when they're visiting Jerusalem.